preface to the video, um, this is a generalization and a mess and basically this video is sort of the rambled immediate thoughts of a teenager who hasn't done enough research to write anything substantial on politics. So I guess like with all of my videos just take my opinion with a grain of salt and formulate your own opinions and I guess there is so much more to what I'm saying and to this topic than what I have presented today. Enjoy! Hey, it's Freya and the theme this week is politics. So the thing about politics is that it's such a broad and wide and complex subject and I feel like I can't say anything particularly intellectual or put together about politics without having a few weeks to sit down and write something. And I guess the reason it's such a broad and complex subject is because it's supposed to be a way of governing a country or a collective of people in a way that best represents the opinions and thoughts and feelings of the entire group of people. Or I guess at least that's the ideal nature of politics. I mean if we're talking about politics in terms of government etc etc because politics has a wide meaning and can be applied to a lot of things. But for the sake of this video let's just assume that I'm talking about large governments and people like Tony Abbott or Donald Trump or who's someone positive that I can name in politics. It's sad that I'm struggling to think of anyone. Barack Obama. Obama's great. I want to also say Julia Gillard in terms of positive politicians in Australia but that's debatable depending on who you talk to. Anyway let's not get into that. Um back on the track that I was going before, this responsibility that I was talking about, this responsibility to represent an entire group of people collectively that makes this topic so complex is also what makes it so hard, near impossible to get right. Or I guess I should put like quotation marks around get right because right is a very subjective term. But assuming for the sake of the argument that right is representing all of these people in a way that makes everyone happy and gets everyone's point of view across. Because when you're making decisions that affect such a large number of people not everyone's gonna be happy and not everyone's gonna have the same idea of what is the right way to go about things and what is gonna benefit everyone the most. And obviously when you're making these decisions you can look at the things that are gonna help the largest amount of people versus the things that are just gonna help like you and three other big business owners. But again what's right and wrong in politics is just such a hard thing to justify. And this is also a reason why people hate politics. This is why people decide that politics isn't for them and that they're not going to vote and that politics is a taboo word that is associated with hard and boring because it makes you think. Because I guess when you're going to talk about what is the way to govern that's going to be right by you and right by everyone else it's hard. There is no straight answer and you have to think about the problems people don't like to think about. And of course the decision to completely abstain from anything to do with how the country is run, with how your country is run, is such a dangerous decision and it means that you have no input in how you live effectively, how the world around you is constructed. But it's just so easy not to have to think about it or it's just so easy to complain when it goes wrong. I have so many more thoughts on this topic that I could talk about. Social change, minorities, the idea of the presidential race in America versus the ways in which people are represented and elected in other countries but that's just gonna take more thought and more preparation than I have time for right now. So I'm gonna leave it here and hopefully one day I will be able to put all of these thoughts into separate little categories and separate little videos and separate sort of monologues and explanations but for now I'm just gonna leave it here because I have not prepared this as much as I would like to to talk about these things. In the comments section 
talk about politics. Tell me your views on politics. Tell me your views on political leaders at the moment or if you have any detailed opinions on any of the things I mentioned but didn't go into detail with, please leave them down below so that we can have a discussion. If you enjoyed this mildly incoherent ramble about the surface level of politics, give this video a thumbs up. Or hey, you could also subscribe because that would be really cool too. Don't forget to check out all of our social media links in the description below and all of our channels and don't forget to check back during the week to see everyone else's videos on this topic. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye!